More details on the effort to get an inmate off of death row. He was convicted of killing OU student Julie Buskin in 1996. She was found dead at Lake Stanley Draper just hours after she took a friend to the airport. The case had gone cold until 2004 when investigators say DNA connected Anthony Sanchez to Julie's murder. But now his attorneys say Sanchez's father was the real killer. And as News Sports Caitlin Ogle found out, experts say it will be a challenge to override that DNA evidence. Caitlin? Well, according to court documents, the probability of DNA being someone else's is at least one in 94 trillion. But Sanchez's team says the inmate's father confessed to the killing. I believe that Anthony Sanchez was left on death row for over 16 years to rot by the state of Oklahoma. Advocates for death row inmate Anthony Sanchez are asking for a new hearing in the brutal 1996 killing of Julie Buskin. The 21-year-old OU student was found murdered at Lake Stanley Draper. In 2004, the OSBI found a possible DNA match on Julie's clothes to Anthony Sanchez, who was locked up for burglary. The probability of another person having the DNA profile that matched from Miss Buskin's uh, underwear and her leotard uh, were one in 94 trillion people. In 2022, another alleged break in the case, but for Sanchez. It was revealed to me that Anthony Sanchez's father had confessed to killing Julie Buskin um, before he had killed himself. Glenn Sanchez took his own life last April. In a declaration, his wife said Glenn was a violent man and often confessed, saying, quote, Glenn was clearly trying to scare me. Sanchez's team also points to this police sketch. The person in it looks older. So uh, then I got a picture of Glenn, uh, Anthony's father, and it looks a lot like him. If the team gets the green light for the hearing, attorney Gary James says they'll have to overcome the DNA questioned by Sanchez's team. They also cite a former Oklahoma City Police Department chemist who was later fired after her work came under immense scrutiny. Joyce Gilchrist was known to have been manipulating uh, DNA evidence. Um, Joyce Gilchrist would have left in the middle of this whole investigation, but nevertheless, I feel very much like her work um, taints everything that came through um, the uh, Oklahoma City lab. Her issues mainly came as it related to blood and hair uh, type evidence. That sounds like just something being thrown around. And Hood says the DNA sample went through the OKCBD's lab. He says early potential matches would have gone through the lab Gilchrist was overseeing. But a prosecutor familiar with the case says the DNA report and what the analyst, a completely different person, testified to was Sanchez's profile and was a match taken from Julie's clothing. They also say there's no documentation that Gilchrist touched this. We reached out to Julie's family, but we did not hear back. Sanchez's execution is set for September 21st.